Manifest presents DIY Tuesdays. Stay tuned next Tuesday. Duh. And if you haven't seen part one, I highly recommend that you click on this link right here on the screen so you can catch up. Not mustard. What? Sorry. That was stupid. But yeah, no, seriously. Click on the link so you can know what's going on. And also, if you already seen part one and it's been a while, like a week, just click on it. Brush up on uh, what you learned on the last video and uh, apply it to the second video. So do it. Here goes part two. And this is me using a heat gun to fold and mold the foam into place. Um, just basically making it being able to you know, wrap around my body uh, in a non-sexual manner. <laughs> just, you know, just keep it shape or whatever. Stay fit. And I heard you can use a, a blow dryer. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I heard. And this is me, like, as you can see, I kind of burnt it a little bit. I want to add a little bit uh, battle damage. And then I burnt it inside because there was uh, <laughs> two uh, air bubbles that I wanted to pop. I don't know, I'm weird. But, yeah, so I, I burnt the outside because I wanted to make it look battle damage. And this is the other side of the armor. As you can see, you know, you basically do the same exact same thing. And this is me trying it out, testing it out. Um, and adding the pieces that go on top of the the armor itself, like, you know, the chest plates and the ab plates. And pretty much um, you use hot glue just to put that on there. And these are the shoulder pads that I made. Um, just testing it out and techno remix. Um, I don't know why my camera does that, but it's been doing or my editing software for some reason likes to blink. But this is the uh, screamer holders that I use, pipe insulation. Um, these actually work really well. Uh, my problem is uh, I actually use them a little bit too early because the heat kind of messes up, and I'll tell you about that a little bit later. But you can also use these. These are broom holders. I like this one the best. Um, I found this on my app on eBay, and there goes a the Techno Remix again. This is another one. I'm not too fond of that one, but you can also use that one too. And this is a set of two, so and you can just look for different prices. Uh, that's just the ones I found like right off, right off the bat. So pipe insulation, you want to use that, and this is what it looks like. The screamers go right in there, um, keeping it nice and snug. But the problem is, I actually um, put them a little bit too early. And when I put the heat on it, they kind of got a little looser, which is not good. So I would recommend putting that on after. Um, not using the heat gun on that at all. You can like glue it on after. You can. Um, what I do is sand it so it can be flat on the bottom. And it could just go easily on, glued on. What I should have done is just waited. But now that I know, I'm telling you, you know, put those on at the end. And basically this is me putting on the back piece I wanted to have like straps going to you know from the shoulders from the back to the front kind of like a backpack kind of thing just to add more support on the suit and this is the back that I made um, still tweaking it of course uh, these are the scream holders as you can see they're a little bit looser because I I applied heat on there and yeah just like I said use those on last um, this is me trying on the shoulder pads or putting on the shoulder pads to connect to the V because I wanted to, you know, make it look smooth from the shoulder pads from the V symbol going all the way across. And I kind of wanted to line up the uh, the ends of them. And this is how you want them to look. And like I said, I wanted to do like little shoulder strap things. So this is a design that I made from scratch, um, just constantly putting on little pieces here and there uh, tweaking it you know my own design <laughs> I made it from scratch pretty much and this is how it looks on the back so you can see you know it's just two two pieces and I just cut them differently and yeah I mean I just use a soldering iron to put that in there at first I didn't have a soldering iron so I used a pencil and I just kept uh, like you know marking it deeper and deeper and uh, that kind of worked but you know soldering iron works a little bit better so you can do that too and I'm sorry for the blinking, um, the techno remix there. And this is uh, like a screamer stopper. I wanted to put more protection on there because like I told you, the heat made my screamer thing a little bit too loose. So I wanted to 
Like it, it was held in place, but it was like not as snug as it used to be. So I wanted something to stop it. So I first put that there, and I was like, man, this looks kind of cool. I wanna, and I don't like how the back looks uh, so far. I want to add something else. So I added these things to make it even more secure and just to make it look more like, you know, like armor or something. And I decided to also cut some of the uh, edges off to make it look a little bit more slimmer. Um, and I added the buckle things in the front. I used a soldering iron to put the chesting and I decided to cut everything that you see here. I put all the access stuff that I, I was going to cut off. And this is how it looked at the end. I uh, just cut off the little access stuff and I added little things so I could put Velcro on the belt, utility belt thing that I was going to put, and on the, under the arms or whatever. And this is something that you have to do to make sure when you paint it, you want to put one part glue and one part water and just put a fresh coat. Once again, YouTube, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe up there. Comment, rate, favorite, share down there. Do me a do me a solid by giving me two thumbs up by liking this video, and by liking me on Facebook. So that's two thumbs up by liking, like me. Also, video number three will be right there. Um, that will be next week's video, and check the date. If it's past whenever, it's probably already up. If it's not past that day, then it's not up. Once again, guys, you guys are so awesome. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned every Tuesday for DIY Tuesdays, guys. Bye-bye.